All right, what do I even feel like doing today? I think for today, I kind of want to make like a really stupid class setup and then just like running around with that. All right, so we'll start with the DMR here. And I think I'll throw on this 10X zoom scope. That seems appropriate. We'll add the big ass silencer on the end. You know, people in Nuketown, they just have no idea where you could possibly be. I'll use a task force barrel and bail myself out a little bit. Oh, that's right. I guess I should put on gunfighter because I mean, why would you want to run around with good perks on this game, honestly? You know, now that I think about it, I don't know if I've ever used the ember sighting point on a single gun in this game. Let's try it. And we'll run around with no stock for the hell of it because why not? Appearance. Let's see. Do any of these look goofy? Oh yeah, let's make it nice and purple, but with that gray optic on the top because you know, God forbid they ever fix that, right? And for the secondary, let's use the sledgehammer. Why not? I unlocked it. Might as well use it. Smoke grenades for the memes. Gas mines to be an asshole. You know, now that I look at this, this doesn't look unlike a blueprint that might appear in the store. Is this the thought process that goes into designing these things? Because honestly, the attachments typically make about as much sense. Not reverse boosting or not reverse boost. Honestly, this game is stupid and the message gets across anyway. I'm not reverse boosting. I'm just voluntarily using a suboptimal class setup. There is a difference. I will be trying my hardest in these games, I assure you. I just have deliberately set myself up for failure, I think. Dude, I'm so fucking behind on this season. Like, look at some of these levels, man. Also, while we're getting started here, if you're enjoying the video, then definitely be sure to drop a like and subscribe and all that stuff. The support is always appreciated and every little bit helps, both for my ego and the YouTube algorithm. All right, so what we got to do, yeah, there we go. I got the 10X scope going. That's that's exactly what we want right there. The only annoying thing about this class setup, I think, is that I'm pretty sure that these scopes reset. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? I can't believe I just killed somebody with that. Yeah, the only annoying thing about this class setup, I think, is gonna be, I'm pretty sure this scope, like, resets itself every time you die, and I am probably gonna die a lot. Dude, I can't even center this. Holy shit. Well, at least I got a nice, clear view of the head glitch over there. I literally, I can't even see anything out of this scope, honestly. This is the most stupid thing I've ever done. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to shoot that guy, but I zoomed in like way too fucking high. All right, I need to like center the shit out of everything at this point. Oh, wait, hang on. I cheated, guys. I forgot to zoom in. My bad. Yeah, there is actually no fucking way. Dude, you didn't need to jump for that kill, buddy. I had absolutely no shot, trust me. I imagine the amount of brain power that went into making this class is similar to the amount of brain power that goes into the average decision-making process over there at Activision. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. There's actually nothing I can do in any engagement that is not cross map, I think. There is no fucking way. There is actually no way on the planet that I'm going positive right now. I refuse to believe this. Are you guys seriously this bad? How did he even see me? I'm standing in smoke. Oh, of course, the smoke was only on my screen. My mistake, my mistake. Dude, I'm literally getting motion sickness every time I try and shoot. That is how much my screen is fucking shaking around. I went 11 and 8 with that. Sure, dude, whatever you say, man. I'll tell you what, man. It's been a pretty long time since I've done something like that. Back in uh, Black Ops 1, my friends and I used to do dumb shit like that all the time. Like, we'd put together classes with, like, akimbo scorpions with no steady aim, akimbo shotguns, ballistic knife only, and then we'd run around and, like, try and win the game like that. And it was honestly really fun. It was, like, a genuinely enjoyable experience for the most part. Obviously, in part because not everybody on that game was sweating their butts off the whole time. But it's also, you know, just some good fun with the boys and whatnot. So uh, I think Sledgehammer may have officially killed the whole rumor about the Modern Warfare 2 remastered thing, unfortunately. They tweeted some weird Undertaker gift today for some reason. I don't know why. But on top of that, somebody that works at Sledgehammer tweeted, like, I guess a joking confirmation that they were in fact working on COD 2021. So, I mean, that's not to say we won't get Modern Warfare 2 remastered, but the odds of that whole rumor where they're like delaying the game and they're gonna give us MW2 remastered multiplayer instead, I think that the uh, odds of that occurring have reduced pretty drastically at this point. What? There is actually no way that sledgehammer doesn't hit that guy. I refuse to believe it, man. What the fuck just happened there? My whole screen just exploded. <laughs> he slid under it. 
Please watch the kill cam, dude. Please, I'm begging you. Look at this disgusting piece of shit that I'm running around with. By the way, in case anybody hasn't seen it yet, I, uh, I uploaded another Dota video yesterday. Or was it two days ago now? I don't even know, man. I definitely do appreciate all the support I've been getting on those videos recently, though. I really want to keep making videos on that game. I'm having a lot of fun with it at the moment. We'll see if that continues as I start, like, you know, finishing this process of remembering how to play the game and stuff. Because I think that's part of where, like, a lot of my fun is coming from is just, like, you know, the whole relearning process. It is somewhat enjoyable, believe it or not. But we'll see how long that continues use for. And if I ever, like, actually feel like playing ranked or anything like that, I don't know if I'll ever do that. At least not on the channel. I might do it on my own time. Every time I get a kill with this thing, I feel bad. What, man? Dude, these melee hitboxes, bro. I feel bad for you knifers out there. They seem horrific. Oh, yeah, so I did have a topic for today's video. This is, like, one of the dumbest things I've ever had happen to me, honestly. So about a month ago, I don't remember if I talked about this or not, but about a month ago, I got pulled over in uh, Virginia. I was driving down to North Carolina to uh, visit my family, and all my way down there, I wound up getting pulled over. I got a speeding ticket. I was actually speeding. It wasn't, like, bullshit or anything like that. So anyway, the cop who pulls me over, right, he basically says, listen, it's gonna take about 10 days to get you into the system, and then after that, you know, call this number, and we'll get it taken care of. It was weird. He like didn't tell me how much the ticket was. He told me to call a number to pay it instead of just saying, here's how much it is, write a check or whatever. I mean, I don't know if that's normal in other states, but in Pennsylvania, usually they just say, here's how much it is, mail a check to wherever. And then, you know, you just kind of deal with it as is, right? This was like a month ago, right? And I just never bothered to actually pay the fucking thing. And I finally got around to it. I sat down and I called the number. I was like, okay, yeah, I got to get this taken care of. I'm going to miss the date. I don't want to have to pay a fine. So I call this number, right? I called during like a normal business hour. Like I call on like a Tuesday at 12 o'clock. I thought I had stims on. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, I called on like a Tuesday at 12 o'clock, like noon. Nobody answers. I call, I click the extension I'm supposed to click. Nothing. It rings for a minute and then it's almost like somebody hangs up on me. Like they didn't give me an answering machine or anything like that. You know, no hold music, no anything. They just hung up on me basically. So I call that number like two or three times because I'm like, okay, it's like the middle of the day. There's no way they're closed. So I start trying the other extensions like for things that are not traffic violations and they still aren't picking up. Like it's the same thing every time. I call the number, I click the extension, it rings a couple times, and then the phone just hangs up. And I know it's the right number because like when I go to click the extension, I get the, you know, the automated message like you have reached the offices of whatever, right? So like I know it's the right place. Oh no. So anyway, I'm like, all right, you know what? Fuck it. Maybe there's some weird Virginia holiday that I don't know about. I'll call back tomorrow. So I do that. I call back the next day and I get the same shit. I try and call them like five or six times and I just get nothing. So eventually I get fed up. I'm just like, all right, you know what? Fuck this. You know, I'm not putting up with this anymore. So literally what I do, I call the number and I just start spamming buttons. Like I just start spamming the zero button until something breaks. There's actually no way you're that bad. I refuse to believe it. But yeah, basically because I broke something in the phone system, I guess, they finally patched me through to a normal person who sent me to where I was supposed to go. And then I go and I talk to them, right? And I'm like, hey, listen, you know, the officer told me to call this number to, you know, figure out paying this ticket. I just want to get it taken care of before the deadline. And she goes, okay, like, you know, what's your name? Uh, what's the number at the top of the ticket? Blah, blah, blah. Now keep in mind, this officer said within 10 days, I'd be able to pay it, right? 10 days from getting pulled over. It's been a month. So I'm thinking, okay, there is absolutely no way there's going to be an issue with this. So I give her my name, I give her the ticket number, all that shit. And she goes, oh, uh, we don't have you in the system yet. I'm like, excuse you? How do you not have me in the system yet? And basically she tries to give me some excuse. She's like, yeah, I don't think we've gotten your batch of tickets yet. Like, you know, sometimes they can take a while, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, well, like, can you tell me how much it is? And she goes, uh, no, I can't. Uh, I need to put you in the system. And I'm like, okay, well, I need to pay this like today because you guys are asking me to mail a check to you. It's going to get there late if I don't send it like today. And I don't really want to have to pay a fine because you guys don't have me in the system yet. And she goes, I understand, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, well, is there a way I can pay online? Which was not on the ticket, mind you. The ticket it said you have to pay by check, right? Like it said, you have to pay by check. There's no online option, whatever. And she goes, hang on, let me check. And she comes back and she goes, okay, yes, you can pay this ticket online. And this is the best part. She goes, actually, we just found your ticket. Like there's no way that what actually happened isn't my ticket was just sitting there for a month and they just never bothered to put it in. She's like, oh no, we just got it in right now. And she goes, okay, you can pay it tomorrow. I'll give you a link. You can pay it online so it won't be late. So now that's all taken care of. But it's just like, this was the most bizarre experience with this kind of thing. 
thing I have ever had. And I'd be willing to bet some money that it's probably not gonna be ready. And then I'm gonna have to call back and fight with this stupid system hanging out with me over and over again to talk to somebody and be like, hey, you said this was gonna be a thing, but it's not. I don't know, man. Weird times, honestly. Anyway, this class sucks. I do not recommend this to literally anybody. Don't do this. It's so bad that I don't even want to play anymore, so I'm just gonna end the video here. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.